Well, good morning, yogis. Thank you for coming out for your Thursday morning. I always say Tuesday because I'm teaching Tuesday. Thursday morning, 8.15 vinyasa flow class. I'm Tom. I'm subbing for Leo today. Really happy to be here. Happy to have everybody on Zoom. Um, as, as always, make sure you visit bourbonyoga.org for the latest and greatest on all our scheduling. Visit that virtual tip jar to keep our wonderful yoga community going strong. Check out all the YouTube classes and all the happenings going on. So um, this morning, we're going to get into some uh, balance. Um, and, you know, you think about balance and a lot of people hate doing balance poses in yogas because it's just like I can't do a handstand or I can't do that tree pose or whatever. So we're just going to kind of break it down a little bit today and do some practical things um, to sort of help with our balancing. So number one is got to make an attempt. Right. So you can't succeed without making an attempt for balances. Oh, hey, Marnie. Welcome. Hey. We're getting into uh, balancing this morning. So number one, we got to make an attempt, right? So let's just dispel all the no. myths. Can't do balancing. There's a lot of things you can do um, in the body by using props and other things. So first is making that attempt. Second thing is getting to know our core more. You know, we think of our core always as our belly and crunches and sit-ups, and we try to avoid that because it's painful and not fun. Um, but really your core is this 360 degree cylinder, right? So we got to use the back, the sides, kind of the trunk of the tree to hold up the branches. Uh, the third thing is gaining stability through support. So use your props, use a wall, use a chair. We don't have anything here. The biggest prop is the floor. And we can even um, talk about that in a little bit. Um, and then last is balance is the center of breath. So if we look at that teeter totter, of rooting down, of reaching out, balance is the thing that's holding everything up. So it's at the center of, of, of our bouncing. So those four things we're gonna put into practice today. Um, we're gonna begin um, on our backs here in a minute. Let's just kind of get a little warmth in the body because it's a little chilly, the sun's coming up out here. Rub those palms together, build some heat. We can go ahead and place them over the eyes. Feel that heat, that energy, begin to deepen the breath. Kari. Kari. I'm going to mute you guys. <laughs> Always forget that part. Mute all. Stay with me. All right. All right. Let's just go ahead and warm up the body here. Inside of the arms, outside of the arms, into the chest, side body. It's beginning to get warmed up down through the legs, the insides, outsides. All right, all that good stuff. All right, we're going to start um, on our backs. So let's go ahead and just bring the feet out about hip width distance apart and then let your knees fall together. I'm going to release that low back. I'm going to sit up here so I'm not talking up to the air and I'll just kind of walk us through a little centering here. So as always, and I mentioned before, balance or uh, the center of the balance is the breath. So let's just begin to deepen that breath. Begin to lengthen your inhalations as you fill up the sides of the body, expand the ribs. And as I said, getting to know the core a little bit more. So exploring, not just drawing the breath into the top of the chest, but draw the breath into the backside of the body and feel that chest rise. Lengthen the exhalations as you sink a little bit deeper in. Feel that support that we mentioned through the backside of the body, the earth holding you up. As you feel the heart lift up and open. Keep that breath ever present throughout your practice this morning. Let it guide you. I'd like to remind everyone that you are the ultimate guru, so rest when you need to. Push yourself when you'd like to. And we'll just be here for a few more breaths as we began to make that transition from being the conscious doer to the conscious observer. Notice sensations coming up for you, maybe in the body your environment, sounds, sensations, the warmth, the sun, the 
coolness as you inhale through the nostrils, the warmness as you exhale. Let's take one more deep, full breath in. Let's let that go. And we're just gonna do some core balancing work here right on our backs as we get started. So go ahead and part the knees just a little bit. First we're gonna do is inhale the arms up overhead. The first thing that happens when we inhale those arms up overhead is our stomach's gonna sort of open up almost like a car hood. So as we talked about really working through that core, make a conscious effort to clamshell the lower ribs down. So you're sort of closing the rib cage down, you're plugging those lower ribs in towards the hip points. So you're building that strong, firm foundation through the core. Keep the belly active here. The arms can kind of float up a little bit. And then let's extend out that right leg, push through that heel, almost like you're standing on the floor. So this is really a balance pose, right? This is as if we were standing on one foot. So the belly's engaged. Those lower ribs are tucked in. The breath is moving. We have the support of the floor underneath us. And let's just pulse that heel just a couple inches off the ground, maybe five, six, ten times, whatever pace feels good to you. Just feeling that energy in the center of the body. Let's go ahead and bring that heel in. We'll switch on over. So push through that left heel. Arms can be down or just floating up a little bit. And again, engage the core, work with the breath, and just pulse a couple times here, just getting warmed up. Let's go ahead and bring that back in, extend back through that right foot again, and then go ahead and draw the palms in towards the heart center. And feel how that sort of stabilizes the core a little bit more. So push the palms together. Feel that center line in the center of the body, so that center energy in the middle of the body. And go ahead and pulse through that foot a couple times on the right side. Go ahead and bring it in. We'll switch on over, push through that left heel, draw the toes back towards you. As you pulse and push the palms together, feel that energy in the center of the body. All right, let's go ahead and draw the knees back in. Draw them into the chest and just push down through the tailbone. Just rock yourself a little bit side to side here. Massage the low back. We'll extend the right leg forward and push the left heel up to the sky. So lengthening through that leg. You can go ahead and grab the back of the thigh here, just getting warmed up. Start stretching through that hamstring. Push through that right foot that's down as if it's on the floor. And now we're doing a balancing pose as if we were standing on one foot and we had a leg extended out in front of us. So just kind of bend and straighten that leg. Work through that hamstring, just getting warmed up. Breathe. One more big breath here, and we'll let that go, and we'll switch sides. Push through the right heel up to the sky. Make sure that left foot is also engaged. Bring a strap here, a towel as well. Use those props. Stability through support. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's let it go. Bring the heels together. We'll just open up the hips here and keep the Baddha Konasana. So let the thighs open up. Heels together. Breathe into the hips. Exhale, sink in. Let's let that go. Bring ourselves up to a tabletop any way you like. You can roll along the spine here. You can just work your way up and over. Roll over the knees. Let's take it into a tabletop. You can have a blanket here for the knees. We're going to be here doing a little bit of balancing on the knees. So if you need a little support, lay your blanket out. You want to be comfortable. I lost my hat. All right. So set ourselves up in our tabletop. 
we have our shoulders lined up directly over those wrists. Our hips are lined up over those knees. Just tap the tops of those feet, kind of wake them up a little bit. Those are our anchor points. Shift the hips side to side. We'll drop that belly down. We'll lift the heart up, broaden through the clavicles here. Push down through the tops of the feet. Big inhale. Exhale, we push the floor away. We bring the hips forward and the gaze comes down into that belly. So work through that core. Drop the belly down. Lift that crown up. Big breath in. Exhale, push away. Curl and reduce the amount of space in between the shoulder blades. Work with your breath. Add on any other movements you might like. Maybe look over a shoulder or two. Swaying hips side to side. Getting some nice spinal flexion here. Let's take it back to center. We'll start to work through that balancing. And again, remember core and breath. We have our stability here. So we're going to go ahead and extend that left leg back. Push through that heel, stretch through the calf. And then we'll go ahead, and push that foot back through the heel on the left side. Shift the weight into that left palm and shoot the right hand forward. If this is too much, go ahead and put it back down. Big breath in. Extend that heel back. Pull up through the belly. Inhale, exhale, we'll push the floor away, round into the spine, knee to elbow. Extend, inhale, exhale, curl. One more time, inhale, exhale, bring it in. Let's bring that back, place it down. We're going to go ahead and place that left knee and roll on over to come up into a modified side plank here, all right? So we're kind of in one continuous line from the wrist to the knee to the heel. This is hard, okay? So if this is hard for you, you can bring that knee back or the uh, leg back behind you. It kind of gives you a little bit more of a kickstand here. So options here, use that support as you inhale and draw that right arm up, kind of like you're drawing a bow. Stack those shoulders up. We'll get into full side plank later. So just getting warmed up. Don't sink into that shoulder on the left. Big breath in, big breath out. Roll on back over and we're gonna take it to the other side. Set yourself back up, push back through that right heel, stretch through that calf, bend those toes. And we'll set up for our balance. Go ahead and float that leg up, keep that heel active. Draw the left palm forward. Big inhale here. Exhale, let's curl it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, push the floor away. Breathe. One more time. Draw it in and hold. Place it back down. Take that modified side plank on the other side. So let's get ourselves set up. Nice firm foundation. Again, we can use that little kickstand for added support. Draw the bow across the chest, up through the left arm. Stack those shoulders. Big breath in. Big breath out. Feel that core engage. Breathe into the left side of the rib cage here. And let's go ahead and let that go. All right, we'll work our way up into our first down dog of the day. It's starting to get warmed up out here at the park. I'm going to delayer. So work your way up into your down dog, nice and easy. Probably the first one of the day. Begin to walk and pedal out. Work through those heels. Walk the toes forward a little bit as you begin to sink down through the heels. Draw the belly button back towards the spine as you lift the hips up. Exhale as you sink down through the heels. Fingers are nice and spread wide open. 
roll the arms in towards the ear, the triceps in towards the ears, just to zip up a little bit more energy into the center of the body here. Just take a big breath in. Exhale, open mouth, let it go. Another big breath. Exhale, let's begin to walk up towards those palms. Nice and easy as you push down through the heels, stretch through the back of the legs. When you get where you're going, we're going to inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, flatten out. Push the thighs back, broaden across the chest, shoot the crown of the head forward. Exhale, fold in, let that head be heavy. Just relax the neck, sway side to side. Shake the head yes and no. Let's inhale, flatten back out. Halfway lift. Exhale, let's fold back in. Inhale, draw that energy up through the heels, the calves, and through the thighs, into the belly and the core. Inhale, lift up, look up, reach up. Tuck your tailbone in. Let's draw palms to heart center. All right. So we're getting warmed up a little bit here. I'm going to just move my blanket off to the side. Let's get into some balancing standing. Good morning, everybody. All right. Inhale, look up, lift up. Let's just take a side bend on over to the left side. Root down through that left heel. And then maybe... Kind of tiptoe that right foot out just a little bit. Maybe it pops up. Just playing around here. Where's that core? Are you using that center line of the body? Use your support if you need to come back down. Just waking up. Wobble, shake, fall. Let's take it back up. Inhale. Exhale on over to the right. Same drill. Kind of tiptoe out. Ballet move here. I don't know if it is a ballet move, but Johnny kind of looks like a ballerina. Or I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's come back up. Inhale, exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Roll the shoulders back, maybe add a little bind by clasping the hands together. Roll up, lift the heart, look up. Exhale, let's hinge at the hips, bend the knees, sink it. Kind of bend and straighten those thighs. Open the shoulders. Release the palms here. Inhale, we're going to flatten out. Exhale down. Inhale back up. Seal the pose, palms to heart center. All right. Let's inhale up. Exhale down, we're gonna shoot the left leg back, right leg is forward, and let's take it into a low lunge. So untuck the back toes, push down through the top of that foot. We have our anchor point here. Knee lined up over ankle, let's draw that energy up through that core. Shoot the fingertips out, tailbone down, crown of the head lifted. Big breath in, sink in a little deeper on the exhale. Palms to heart center. Now we're going to do a twist, and typically we cross that elbow over. I want you to stay up nice and high. So push the palms together. Inhale. Exhale. Take a little twist back. So we're using that core strength. Breathe into both sides of the body. Get to know that core a little bit more. If you want to add on a little bit, you can stay here. Or drop that right hand to the back of the thigh. Maybe that left arm comes up and back. Squeeze that right thigh in so it's not rolling out. Bring palms back to center. Let it go. Drop the palms down. We'll straighten out through the right leg so you can kind of inch forward through that heel. Pop those toes up. Tuck the back. Sink the hips back and stretch through that hamstring on the right side. Big breath in. Big breath out. Right, 
Let's let that go. Plant those palms, step it back to your plank pose. Pull that belly up and in. And we're gonna take our side plank. So go ahead and drop that leg back down. You can do that exact same modified side plank we did earlier. If you wanna get a little bit more into it, stack the heels, have that shoulder or arm lined up right underneath the shoulder. Push the floor away so you're not sinking down and wobble and fall. Maybe you add the leg. There's something everybody can do. So you can be back down in that supported side plank, whatever's feeling good for you. Smile, fall, <laughs> breathe. All right, let's go ahead and roll back on over. Just push, push back, take a quick child's pose. Let all that energy go. Big breath in, big breath out. Push ourselves back up, downward facing dog. Big inhale. Big exhale. So let's go ahead and take, where are we at Johnny? Left leg up, send it through. So much better when I'm with a real class because I can actually see what people are doing too. So <laughs> inhale, shoot the fingertips out. We're in our low lunge, second side. Tailbone down, crown lifting. Check in with that belly or the ribs opening up. Sink them down and in. Seal that core. Palms to heart center. Big breath in. Exhale, we'll twist on over. That's high twisting. Check in with that left thigh, kind of roll it back in if it's falling out. You want to add a little bit more on, you can take that hand to the back of the thigh, do a little bit more of a back bend. Let's go ahead and release. Take the palms down, straighten through that left leg. Inch that heel forward, pop the toes up, draw them back towards the knee. Sink the hips back. Big breath in, big breath out. Let's go ahead and let go. Place those palms down, step it back to our plank pose. We'll set ourselves up for side plank on the other side. Get that one line all the way down through the heel. Options, as always, modify. Just make sure you're not sinking into that shoulder. You want to pull the back or the side of the right body up and in. Maybe you float that other leg up. Maybe that's not happening for you today. No problem. Gently roll back over. Push back, child's pose. Let all that heat go that we're starting to build. Let the energy settle into the body. Big breath in. Big breath out. Let's peel ourselves back up. Downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Big inhale, exhale, step, hop, or float. Inhale, flatten out. Exhale, fall in. Inhale is going to bring us all the way up. Palms up, draw them in, seal the pose. Shake it out a little bit, grab yourself some water or beverage of choice. Everybody feeling good? All right, good, good, good. Okay, so let's work through a couple more balance poses here. Everybody good online? All right, just making sure everybody's with us. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead, mountain pose, 
root down through those heels, pull up through the kneecaps, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Shoot the fingertips down and out. Big inhale through the heart. Check in with the belly. Pull that belly button to the back of the spine. Rooting through the heels, reaching through the crown. Breath is in the middle of the balance. Inhale, arms up, palms to heart center. Push those palms together to create that energy along the center of the line of the body. Shift our weight into the right heel. And draw the left leg up. So just focus, maybe your gaze, your dristy on something that's not moving. Let it be soft here. Big inhale, as you exhale, we're gonna shoot that left leg all the way back coming into a crescent lunge. So we're up on our toes, first bend through the knee and then go ahead and straighten through that heel. Lengthen through the back leg, reach the arms up and out. Drawing down through the tail and up through the crown. Big inhale, as we exhale, we're gonna lean forward, kind of a ski lunge, shoot the palms back, fingertips back. Strong in that front toe. And we're gonna go ahead and push off and draw that left knee up and in, back where we started. Breathe here. Exhale, send it back, crescent lunge. Inhale up. Palms to heart center, press off, draw it back and in. And let's open up to a tree pose. So tree pose can be here. It can just be on the thigh or on the ankle. Not on the knee because we don't want any stress there, but your version of tree. Keep that core engaged, plug those ribs in. Just as I said earlier, as you extend those arms up, the belly kind of opens, zip those down. Wobble, fall, smile. Focus your gaze on something that's not moving. Variations with the arms. Everybody looks great. Palms back to center. And we'll go ahead, bring knee back. Send that heel back, and we're going to drop into a warrior two. A little bit of a rest here. We have heel to arch alignment. Drop the tailbone down. Open up through the shoulders. So roll the shoulders open first, palms up. And then drop the palms down as you sink in. Check that knee alignment over the ankle. Our anchor is the back edge of the back foot. Inhale, let's reverse that way. Breathe into the right side. Exhale, we're going to drop into extended side angle. So go ahead and drop that elbow to that knee. Stack the shoulder. So roll that left shoulder back behind you. Just open those shoulders. And then maybe float it up and over. Inhale, back up, warrior two, sink in. Exhale, windmill the hands all the way down. Take it back to our plank. And options here, you can take knees, chest, chin, dropping down or your full chaturanga. I'm just gonna do knees, chest, chin. Let's take it down to a sphinx pose and kind of pause here for a little bit in our back bend. So wiggle the hips side to side, let the tops of the feet be those anchors. Pull the belly up off the mat. A lot of times we just sink in here to the shoulders and belly. Get up out of those shoulders. Pull that belly up and in. So now we're working on the back side of the core, the low back, right? Draw the heart through the shoulders. So press down through the palms. Big breath in. As we exhale, we're going to dry, uh, drop the gaze down and in and maybe lift the belly up a little off the mat. So a little bit of core work here. Maybe the thighs come up. What feels good for you this morning? Move with the breath. So inhale, lift. Exhale, drop in. Feel that core engage. 
back up one more time. Maybe look over right shoulder, breathe, back to center, other side, back to center, drop the palms underneath those shoulders, make your way up to down dog any way you like, tabletop, hit a child's pose if you'd like. Big breath in, big breath out. One more time, inhale, exhale, step, hop or float forward. Inhale, flatten out, exhale, let it go. Draw the energy up through the body, activate it, lift up, look up. Bring those palms to heart center and we'll seal the pose. Let it go, shake it out. Now I gotta remember how to do all that on the other side. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Let's inhale, arms back up, palms to heart center. I'm going to say bring the right leg up. Is that right, Johnny? <laughs> and we'll just balance here a little bit, right? So we'll shake, we'll wobble, push those palms together, keep the gaze soft, keep the heel flexed. Toes flex. Inhale here. Exhale. We'll shoot it back, take it into our crescent lunge. So set your foundation up before you just get where you're going. Make sure we're nice and strong. You can bend that back knee, sink in a little bit, and then push through that back heel. Lengthen that thigh. Tails down. Crowns up. Three. Inhale. Lift up. Look up. Exhale. Sink forward. Crown of the head forward, shoot the fingertips back. Exhale, push off, draw that knee up and in. Exhale, push it back, bring it up to our crescent. Exhale, reach it forward, roll the shoulders back, get them away from those ears. Push it off, draw that knee back up and in. Take it to our tree pose on the other side. Options with the legs. If you're at home, you got a chair nearby, you got a wall nearby, use it, right? So st stability through that support. At the park, we're kind of on our own out here. All good. But if you hate balance poses or they're really hard, use a wall, use a chair. You get the same benefits out of the pose if you're cheating a little bit. It's okay, we won't tell. Shoot the arms up and out if you'd like. If you want a little more challenge, you can add the gaze. Oh yeah. Fall out of it. All right, palms back to center. All right. From here, we're inhaling. Exhaling back, we're gonna take it to our warrior two. Take your time, get yourself set up. Nice continuous line. Tuck that tailbone in. A lot of times the butt's kind of, your bum's sticking out there. So zip that in. Check in with those ribs. Roll the shoulders open, reach out, and sink down. Look out over those fingertips. So we have those two opposing forces reaching out, rooting down. That breath is right in the middle of that balance. Inhale. Reach it back and over. Breathe into the side of the ribs and spaces in between. Exhale, we'll extend it side angle. So make sure you're not sinking into that shoulder, front shoulder. Create some space here. And sometimes you have a hard time getting that arm up and over. You get kind of caught on that shoulder. You can take it in front of you and all of a sudden it gives you a little bit more. You're like, oh, wait. Can reach a little further there. That's cool. Big breath in, big breath out. 
use your core strength, take it back up to our warrior two, sink back in one more time. Inhale here, exhale, windmill down, step back into your plank pose, lower down, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga nandasana. Back bend of choice, back to that sphinx, maybe up dog. If you're up dog, thighs are up, knees are up, heart is shining forward. Deep breath in, exhale, it's all pushed back to a child's pose. Bring those toes together, let the knees go wide. Soften through the core. That sounds good, right? Instead of engage, soften through the core. And just sink in here a little bit. Building a lot of heat, a lot of energy. So those balance poses, strength and stability, let it go. Notice how you feel from where you started this morning. Notice sensations in the room or environment around you. Notice the ease of breath that we didn't have when we started. Good breath in. Let it all go. Go ahead and make your way back up. We're going to come around to a seated position. Grab yourself some water or beverage. It'll kind of continue to work through some stretching here. But before we do, a little more core work. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're not going to get off that easy, right, Johnny? All right. So boat pose, great for establishing that core, working through stability. So we're going to go ahead and roll the shoulders back. Go ahead and draw the thighs in towards the belly. And then go ahead and point the toes down and then bring... Uh, fingertips out in front of you. So you can be here just squeezing in. This can be your boat. You want a little bit more. Maybe you begin to lift the legs up. <laughs> Maybe you lift one leg up. Drop it down. Pop the other one. Squeeze into that midline. Act like you have a block in between your knees as you squeeze in. Roll the shoulders back. Shake. Maybe both feet up. Maybe arms up, <laughs> cross the legs, let it all go. All right, shake it all out. Roll the shoulders back. Let's inhale the arms up. Exhale, just a gentle twist. Go ahead, take the right hand across the thigh, roll that left shoulder back. Let the gaze follow. Inhale, back up. Exhale, let's drop that left hand down. Take a deep side bend here. So root down through that right hip. Maybe the gaze comes under that right arm. Some circles with that right wrist. Let's take it back up. Exhale on over, other side. Roll that shoulder back. Use that hand as leverage on that thigh to twist a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist deeper. Wave at this guy. Inhale up. Exhale, drop that right hand down, up and over. Root down through that left hip. Breathe into the left side. Just let it go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take the left leg out to the side. Right leg out to the side. Left heel in towards the thigh. Flex through that right heel left all out. We're going to inhale up and we're going to rotate the sternum right over that leg. We're going to exhale and fold it. Inhale through the crown as you lengthen spine and exhale sink in a little bit more. Grab for what you can get. It might just be the
bottom of the thigh. You can have a towel. You can have a strap here. Use those props. Big breath in. Exhale a little deeper. Let it go. Walk the fingertips back in. We're going to inhale, lift up. And exhale, we're going to twist on over to the left side. Push through that right heel. Roll that left shoulder back and then roll to the inside of that foot and lift the hips up. So a little hip opener here. Big breath in. Exhale. Gently brings you down. We're going to take that left foot. We're going to cross it over the thigh. Kind of scooch that heel in as much as you can. Put yourself up on a block or blanket as well if you have a hard time. Or even if you don't have a hard time, it just makes everything a little bit easier, which is kind of nice. And go ahead and bring that other heel, the right heel, in towards the bump. So we're having a nice, firm foundation here. Inhale, we're going to lift up. Exhale, we're going to take that right hand around, wrap it around, roll back through the left shoulder and squeeze in as you take a twist. Inhale, lengthen through the crown. Exhale, twist. Look over left shoulder. We're drawing blood, blood flow, oxygen into the internal organs. Massaging, working out stale energy. One more breath in. Exhale, we're going to go ahead and unwind. We're going to come into heron pose here. So we're going to go ahead and grab for the inner, uh, the outer edges of the foot here. If that's not available, you can just grab for the thigh. And then we're going to go ahead and push that foot up and out through the heel as you roll the shoulders back. So kind of what we're doing in that boat pose, but probably a little bit easier. Hamstrings should be feeling nice and open now. Breathe. <laughs> One more breath in. My breath out. Let's go ahead and release. Untangle those legs. Take it into a wide stance here. So in our forward folds, we really want to make sure we're getting in front of those sit bones. If we're sitting back and rounding our back, we are not folding anywhere. So kind of you can even take a block or roll the shoulders back, lift yourself up, push through the heels and flatten out. And then all of a sudden, wow, I got like a little bit of leverage here. Okay, so draw the toes back towards the kneecaps, push through those heels, roll shoulders back, lift up, look up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, walk the fingertips forward to whatever degree is comfortable for you. Thighs can be up off the mat here. Knees can be slightly bent, no big deal. If you want a little bit more intensity, push out through the heels and push the thighs down. Whatever feels good for you here. Maybe the head's up, maybe the head's down. Maybe you just rock yourself a little bit over side to side. Gently make your way back up. We'll go ahead and bring that right foot in to that left side. Set ourselves up. Again, can be up on that block or blanket if you need it. I'm going to inhale, lift, line up sternum over leg, and exhale, fold it. Keep tracking those toes back towards the knee. Check out your toe polish job. <laughs> Stay with the breath. 
start to feel really, really nice and open. Inhale, gently come back up, lift up. Exhale, twist on over, push through that heel on the left side, roll that right shoulder back, take a twist. Push down through the heel of the palm on the back side, roll to the inside of that left foot and send those hips up. Some circles with that wrist. Exhale, gently drop it on down. All right, get yourself set back up. We're gonna bring that foot over that thigh. Scooch that heel in as you bring the other heel in. We're building a nice strong foundation. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze in and twist. You know, that right palm, the back side of the ribs for a little added leverage. Check out the mountains behind us. What a beautiful day. It's supposed to be like 75 today. Jeez. It's supposed to be the height of it. Mm. I'll take it. Big breath in. Big breath out. We'll go ahead and unwind. We'll take that heron pose on the other side. So whatever option, like I said, if you can't get a hold of that leg, uh, the, the, the foot and extend it, just go ahead and push out through that heel and hold here. If you want a little bit more, just make sure your shoulders are back, heart is up, gaze is lifted, push through the heel, do what you can do. Big breaths in, big breath out, <laughs> let it all go, bring heels together, draw the heels in towards the pelvis as much as feels good for you, wiggle a little bit side to side, we're in Baddha Konasana, roll shoulders back, lift the heart up, Maybe grab the big toes, lift up, look up. Deep breath in, exhale, hinge forward, walk it forward to whatever degree feels good for you this morning. Hmm. All right, go ahead and walk yourself back in. Push the heels out, staff pose, Dandasana, roll shoulders back, inhale, lift, exhale, hinge and fold. Reach forward with the crown of the head, draw the toes back towards you and then sink in. Gently unwind, cross the legs. We'll go ahead and roll on over. Before we get into our handstand, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's get into child's pose here for a little bit. We'll just kind of keep working through some shoulder and hip openers. If you throw your blanket back down, give yourself a little added padding. First push back into a child pose, toes to touch. Soften that core, walk those palms forward. Lengthen through the front of the body and the chest as you sink down through the heart. Deep inhale. Sink in on the exhale. All right, go ahead and come up just a little bit so you can see what's going on. We're gonna come into a half frog pose, okay? So we're gonna straighten out through the left leg. We're gonna bring the right leg out so the hip is coming out or the legs coming out. It's sort of a 90 degree with your um, leg coming out of your hip crease. 
and then work your way down so your hips are as flat as possible. And if you're all the way down, that's gonna be the easiest. As you begin to push yourself up, sort of almost in that sphinx pose, you're gonna to start to feel some something going on in that hip, right? So feel that, breathe into it, pull the belly up, breathe into that hip on the right side. If it's too intense, you're feeling any pinching back off, come back down. Feel the lower back engage here. If you want a little bit more, you can walk fingertips forward, push back up. That might be pretty intense on the low back. If it feels, doesn't feel good, don't do it. Gently come down. We'll go ahead and bring that hip back in. We're gonna open up the shoulder on the right side. So take that right arm, extend it out to a T. And then if you, if you can't see me, just pay attention for the first second. We're gonna go ahead and roll that left leg back behind you roll the shoulder back and option two you can have the head down you can have that arm up overhead that left leg's an anchor here so you should feel a nice opening to that right shoulder you can bring that left hand to your sacrum if you want Breathe into that right shoulder. One more breath in. Exhale, roll on back over. Let's take that over to the other side. Take that left leg out. So that 90 degree setup with the leg. And then whatever degree is comfortable for you again. As you come up, you're going to feel that engagement of the low back. So we're strengthening the low back. We're opening through the left hip. As you draw yourself up, you get a little bit more added engagement. Maybe roll the shoulders back, walk the fingertips forward a little bit more. Breathe, wave. <laughs> One more breath here. Gently lower it down. Go ahead and bring that thigh back in. We'll wiggle side to side. Let's go ahead and bring the heels up and just windshield wiper the leg side to side. You can open up the thighs a little bit. Just releasing that low back here for a minute. The legs go long. Set ourselves back up on the other side. So left arm goes long. Roll on over. Bring that heel back behind the thigh. And then options with that right arm. Maybe you take it up and over. Maybe it's back behind you. You know your body best. So listen to it. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's go ahead and release, roll on back over. Unwind here, let's just let the crown of the head fall. And then shoot the fingertips back alongside the body. Just relax the shoulders here for a little bit. Wiggle it out. You can come to one cheek or the other. Just take a moment here as you feel the belly rise and fall against the earth. Again, get to know your core, become friends with it. It'll help you and guide you through your practice, keep you strong and stable. Let's go ahead and bring the crown of the head back to the center. Roll the shoulders back, shoot the fingertips back, and lift up into a locust pose. If you want a little bit more, maybe you float the feet up. Squeeze the thighs together and engage. We're strengthening that low back. Exhale, let it go. Let your gaze fall to the other side. Soften through the hips. Deep breath in, deep breath out.
and crown of head back to center. You can work through that locust, or if you want to get into bow pose, we can do that as well. So we're going to roll the shoulders back. You can bend the knees here, flex the feet, and then see if you can grab a hold of those ankles. If you get a hold of them, take a moment, roll shoulders back, broaden through the chest, kick up into those legs, or kick the legs up into the palms. And then kind of wiggle hips side to side, see if you can get up a little bit more. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more sip of air. Exhale, let that go. Bring palms back underneath you. And then let's go ahead and windshield wiper. Release that low back. Push it all the way back to child pose. Sink in one more time. Exhale, bring it back up. I'm just gonna work our way onto our backs. Check, time check, we got a few more minutes here. Everybody, great job. Just a few more things I've been wanting, so. We are going to do a handstand. We're going to do a handstand right now on the floor. So like I said, people just say, I can't do those poses. I'm never going to be able to do them. But you can actually use props, use support, and use those techniques to actually do the same thing for your body, but doing it in a supported way. So just let the legs go along here. Push through those heels like you're standing on the ground. Inhale those arms up overhead. That belly is going to want to open up. So we're going to zip those ribs down and in. We're going to engage through the belly. And then push through the palms like they're on the floor. Keep the arms in around the ears. Make sure you're not crunching the shoulders up around the ear space. Drop the shoulders down a little bit, but we're rotating the arms in towards the center line. And we're in a handstand, like it or not. It's probably the easiest handstand you've ever done. But you can do those same things and do those same poses and engage those parts of the body without actually doing them. You can also do this with the support of a wall. We can get into that another time. But just want you to feel those things and feel the support, the activation in those parts of the body. So go ahead and let's just release that. Let it all go. Shake it out. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Bring the thighs in towards the ribs. Draw the tailbone down. Big inhale, squeeze the knees in a little bit more. Let's keep that right knee tucked in as you push through, or uh, yeah, right knee in as you push through that left heel. Squeeze it in, so I place that heel down. And then we'll take that uh, left leg, right leg, thank you, across the body as we open up to a twist. So that right arm's out to a T. Shoulders are down in our firm foundation here. Maybe add the gaze over to the right. One more breath here. Let's go ahead and unwind. Knees back into center. Switch sides. Inhale and exhale. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Draw the knee across the body. Keep those shoulders planted firmly. Add the head last. If you work through any twist, you always want to work from the base of the spine up. So never start with the head and shoulders and then try to get into your twist. You always want to begin that twist from the base of the spine up into the shoulders and the crown of the head follows last. Big breath in, just let that go. Unwind ourselves. Just take a little happy baby here. So go ahead and 
reach for the outer edges of those feet or piece fingers to big toes. And we're going to squeeze that tailbone down as we draw the knees down towards the armpits. Open up the hips. Maybe gentle rock side to side. Enjoy these last few peaceful moments. Big breath in. Exhale, we're going to let everything go. Extend those legs long. Set yourself up for your version of the Vasana. Palms can flip up to the sky. Just let those heels open up like a book and feel the hips open up as you do that. I'm just going to sit up here so I can chat with you a little bit more and guide us through our final posture. Nothing left to do here. Just let that heartbeat settle into the chest. Soften through the face. Any tension around the eyes or through the jaw. Let the throat be soft. Let the clavicles and heart be soft. Let the bones be heavy. Soften through the belly. Let those hips be open. Soften the glutes. Backs of the thighs through the knees. Down through the calves. Use the ankles and soften and relax fingers and toes. Be here in this final resting pose and join the benefits of your practice. Allow me to call you back when it's time. Gently begin to deepen the breath, welcoming sensations back into the body by wiggling fingers and toes or small movements, moistening lips, raising eyebrows, open and make some circles with your jaw. Let's take one more full body stretch. So bring ankles together, reach those arms back up overhead. Big inhale here. Exhale, draw those knees into the chest. Drop that tailbone down as you give one final squeeze in. Then go ahead and roll yourself on over to your favorite side. And slowly make yourself, make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Gaze can be soft here or eyes can be closed. Just take a few final moments here. Feel that rooting and support through the tailbone. Feel that lightness and lifting through the crown. Feel those two opposing forces as the breath remains in the center of that balance. Inhale, palms up to the sky, lift up. Draw that energy into the heart space. Press the thumbs firmly against the sternum as you let the heart shine forward. Everything we do in yoga can be crossed over off the mat into our lives. Balance is hard, as we know, in a physical sense, but also in a daily sense of our lives. First thing is to make that attempt. Second thing to have that core, that solid foundation. 
Third thing is to find stability through support in your life. That might be your friends, your family, your yoga. And the last thing is the breath is the center of that balance. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me this morning on Zoom, at the park. Namaste. Everybody have a wonderful day. As always, please visit urbanyoga.org for the latest on scheduling. Visit that virtual chip tip jar. Thanks, guys. This was really fun. <laughs>